Hello everyone, good evening and welcome back to the channel. We are back again for another transfer show. Um, I thought I'd come on here and do a pre-recorded version. I might do a live show at some point with the transfers throughout the month, um, but uh, well, the next few weeks and maybe we might do one towards the end actually, uh, to a live show to summarise the transfers that have happened. But we have got another new signing, and that is why I've come on here to discuss the new signing as we welcome Rodinho Balka, a um, Dutch centre back. He agrees in a deal with the club until tw um, until 2027, um, and yeah, I'm going to be sharing my reaction tonight. Um, and yeah giving you a bit of background information about him and yeah so let's get stuck into it then so obviously as i said Rodinho Balka has joined the club um on a deal until 2027 so um he's 25 years of age as a, um and he's a center back as i said he's joined for an undisclosed fee but it is rumored that we have bought him for around 1.3 million um, euros, I think that will be in. Um, he joins the club from Dutch side FC Groningen. I hope I've said that. I probably said it completely wrong, and I do apologise to any, not that any Dutch fans will be watching this, but I do apologise for that pronunciation because it's probably way off. But um, he obviously does need to get international clearances and uh, his visa. So that's still confirmation of that to come through. But obviously he has signed the contract now and it runs until summer of 2027. He'll wear the number 24 shirt at the club. Um, he's, yeah, I mean, he's a very tall centre-back, six foot three. Um, a bit of information he's, he's made over 100 appearances in the top two divisions of the Dutch football, which includes 31 starts for Groningen in the Eredivisie last season. And um, so, you know, it's for me, it, this is a quality sign. I'm really I'm happy with this one, you know. I think that he has got the presence, the build, um, the you know. I, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't seen much of him play, so I obviously we'll have to judge him as he comes in and obviously starts playing. But I've heard quite a few good things about him. Um, he's a good age as well. He, he, like I say, he's got that big presence about him. Similar to what we've got with Helic, you know. And just imagine having those two at the back together. I think this could be, you know, the start of a really pot a potentially special partnership between the two of them, actually. I really do, because I think they'll complement each other very well. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I say, he a bit more information about um, Rodinho, that we'll call him. Um, like I say, he's a very important, very athletic as well, uh, centre back. It's just you know we've been conceding goals left, right, and centre, you know. Arguably because of the style of football we're de deploying at the moment, but we are leaking goals, so hopefully he can come in and really make a difference to that back line. And like I said, I'm very, very happy with this. I really am. Uh, now, obviously, a bit of background about him. He was born in Amsterdam um, on the 3rd of September 1998. Uh, like I say, he's been in Dutch league for quite, you know all his career really. And I'm, I'm making out as if he's old. He's only 25, so you know he's been. He's, you know he's he's had a really good start to his career. Um, like I say, capped at youth level for the Dutch um, fourth uh, under 21 side um, new team. Sorry. Promotions to his belt as well. Because he played over 50 appearances for Almere City over, the, over two seasons and he's 
So these form then attracted interest from uh, Groningen in the Eredivisie. I do apologise for saying that. I've probably said that team really wrong with pronunciation, but I'm doing my best. But yeah, like I say, um, he's had a few injury problems from time, uh, when he first joined his debut season. He had quite a bad injury. Um, and yeah, he's he's like says he's a player that will certainly excite the fans. I, I think that I think it's just a case of seeing what he can do now. But overall, um, as I said, very happy with this one, and I think that he, you know, what he what he'll be able to do with Helic and you know at the back. I just, I just really sense that this could be a really uh, fantastic partnership between the two of them, as I said. So, yeah, obviously he has joined just today. It was announced an hour ago, confirmation um, at the time of recording this. So, yeah, another one through the door. Adding to our other two additions we've made already. And... We are also on the cusp of signing another player, but um, which we will get into very soon. But yeah, I think we definitely needed somebody at the back. You know, we definitely needed a sign at the back, and we've got that man now. And um, again, it's another. It, it is a promising sign in this, and we're just gonna have to see what happens. But I'm very optimistic. It's a shame I can't be optimistic about Darren Moore, but um, if results don't pick up over the next few weeks, I, I, I think Nagel will have to act. That's how I see it. So, well, again, time will tell that one. But welcome to Redinho Balka um, from Dutch side Groningen um, in the Eredivisie. But yeah, as I was saying, we are also linked, we are closing in on another signing, and this is for um, Watford striker Rhys Healy. Apparently a deal, according to The Athletic, they do say that the deal is estimated to be around £2 million, and the deal is very close to happening. Now, Healy obviously joined last summer as a free agent after departing French side Toulouse. Um, he's not really been um, able to kind of cement his place as a regular part of the Watford's mani Watford manager. Um, he's made 10 appearances as a substitute, only started once in the league. Um, the forward has contributed two goals and one assist for Ishmael's side so far this season. Um, like I say, it is reported that we are closing on the sign, so this is pretty Im in imminent, uh, as it seems to be um, very close. Now, obviously, he's only been with Watford for six months, and he's already go go you know getting sold on. Yeah, I mean, I'll share my thoughts on this if it goes through. I don't want to, obviously, but I just want to kind of um, share this story with you. Like I say, another striker in the door it is another option. Um, I will say that. Um, but yeah, you know, again, when that deal does happen, I will kind of speak more about that. But there is pros and cons with this deal I think I think the fee seems quite large really doesn't it for a player that potentially hasn't really done much uh, well he hasn't done much at all at Watford since coming through the door there so two million pounds for a player that you know has offered very little um, the past six months mm, I'm not sure maybe the you know that two million might have been best spent elsewhere but I give everybody a chance. Whoever signs for it, I'll always give everybody a chance to, to prove themselves. Um, because that's only fair. 
but so we're gonna to have to see how that materializes but that i wouldn't be surprised if that's announced in the next 24 hours now um but we'll have to wait and see but yeah um hopefully you did enjoy this video it was quite a short video but i just thought i'd come on here and share my thoughts about the new sign that we've just made today and also um the rumor about was closing in on um another player as well so yeah really really happy like i said with the sign made today very buzzing about it but let's just see what happens with him and um, I'm not going to sit here and say that I've seen him play football before because I haven't but I've um, seen a few highlights from the um, from what Town have tweeted earlier on YouTube so yeah really positive signs let's get him through the door let's get him training with the group um, I don't know how long his visa or international clearance will take to, to happen but if that's, it might, you know, Blackburn on Saturday might come too soon for um, him. But we, it won't be long before we see him, I'm sure. Um, uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully he doesn't get injured like Bojan did when he came through the door. But, uh, you know, the injury curse. But, yeah. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please make sure you do smash the like, subscribe if you are new. We are on the road to 400 subscribers. You can follow me on my socials, HTFTV8 on Instagram and X or Twitter, as I still call it. I still call it Twitter, so, yep. Um, I hope you've all had a good week as well, by the way, and, and I really appreciate you watching this video. Uh, we will be back live tomorrow. This video that I'm, be, that I'm doing now will be posted tonight. So yeah, we'll be back live tomorrow for a preview to our match this weekend against Blackburn. So stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to do that at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. So come and tune in if you are free. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of the evening. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Up the town.